Mazuma TV back in the building, man. What's going on, y'all? Shout out to Mazuma Nation. Shout out to the Mazuma Maui back in the building, man. I hope everybody's having a beautiful, blessed, productive day. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little under the weather, a little runny nose. Y'all could probably hear it and how I talk. Um, you know, I need throat hurting a little bit, but you know, the grind never stops. You know what I mean? The mission stays the same. You know what I mean? This little cold or whatever, go ahead and do more than that for me to stay in bed. You know what I mean? But regardless, like I said, I hope everybody's having a blessed day. Um, what I really want to get into today is Jerron Ennis. You know what I mean? Jerron Ennis, undoubtedly the hottest fighter out of Philadelphia right now, currently has the IBF interim title. Um, just had a brilliant performance against Romain Vila not too long ago. Um, and he has a lot of people watching him right now. He's being very, uh, there's a lot of eyes on him in the sport of boxing. A lot of people, um, are in love with this kid's style, man, and his performances and what he's bringing to the table. Um, extremely dangerous, well-rounded, um, elusive, great reflexes, great athleticism, uh, power, explosiveness. He gives you everything that you would want in a fighter, you know what I mean? And most importantly, he's one of the most hardworking dudes that I've ever seen in the sport of boxing, like personally, you know what I mean? Like he lives the fighter lifestyle in and out, and that's something that I really love about a fighter, you know what I mean? Um, you could trust this man's work ethic, and you know, Bozy even says like he doesn't have to tell Boost to really do anything. You know what I mean? He don't really gotta be on his ass because Boost is always um, ten toes down and constantly working. You know what I mean? But what I really want to get into besides that is um, how he should go about the rest of his career. You know what I'm saying? If you guys been watching Boots and his team's interviews by YSL Sports Media, shout out to Jamil. Um, They've been very consistent in calling out the top guys. You know what I mean? Like, if you guys, uh, y'all can scale back a few months. Um, Bozy and, and, and Boots were looking to fight um, Earl Spence. They've been after the Terrence Crawfords. They've been after the Virgil Ortiz's of the world. They've been after the Keith Thurmans. Um, even uh, Jerron and his brothers had, uh, you know what I mean, talked that talk to Keith Thurman the last time they saw him out at a fight. You know what I mean? Like, they've been hawking these top guys to get somebody to grant Jerron Ennis the opportunity. But it all seems like, um, and even I remember at one particular point that Jerron Ennis was calling out your Dennis Ugas. You know what I mean? When he had the WBA regular title. Um, but all these guys are pretty much saying the same thing. Um, and they're just alluding. Um, Terrence Carver said it directly that Jerron Ennis doesn't really bring anything to the table. He doesn't bring anything that motivates him to fight. Jerron Ennis, you know what I mean? And that's an unfortunate situation, you know. Um, I feel like a lot of these dangerous fighters who end up being world champion gotta face this obstacle. I remember Earl Spence was facing that obstacle at, at one time in his career before he got the IBF strap. A lot of dudes was ignoring him, you know what I mean? Didn't want to fight him like Keith Thurman. And now that the tables turn, and now that he's one of the biggest stars in boxing, despite his loss with Terry Scrub, he's still one of the biggest uh, draws in boxing. Now everybody want to jump out the woodworks and fight them. You know what I mean? Like tables turn. You know what I mean? But um, a lot of people are saying the same thing about Jerron Ennis. Like uh, maybe later down the line, you know, um, he doesn't. He, he doesn't. He's, he's like. They, and they also allude to the fact that he's a high risk and a low reward. You know what I mean? They respect that man's skill set. They respect his hand for sure. But they just don't want to take that risk at this time um, because Boots isn't the biggest draw in boxing. Um, they're not going to really cash out going into that fight because um, Boots is a, still an upcoming young lion um, who's building his name in the world. You know what I mean? Definitely getting hot. Um, a lot of people are starting to recognize him. A lot of his videos have been going viral on social media. So he's doing his thing. He's on the climb for sure. But it's like when you have something in the oven and you just take it out prematurely, like it's hot, it's almost ready to, to come out and be ready to eat. But you know what I'm saying? You just got to keep it in the oven just a little bit longer. And I just think that's where Boots is at at, his, at this uh, exact time in his career. Um, in all honesty, I can't advise Boots on anything. You know what I mean? I can only just provide my opinion. Uh, my perspective on the whole situation. And um, if I was in Boots Corner or if I was conversing with somebody that's a part of Jerron and his team, I would just advise that um, considering the fact that these guys don't want to fight him, the higher up top tier guys, I would just advise Boots to just get it out the mud, man. Um, build his own name, you know what I mean? Create his uh, own uh, opponents that's within his era because it just seems like uh, the guys that's from, that, that's from this current era aren't interested 
So I think he's just gonna have to get it out the mud, man. He's gonna have to grind, put in the work like he's been doing, and just keep stomping these dudes that's placed in front of him. The Stanley Onuses, uh, shit. Uh, maybe Cody Crawley, you know what I mean? Like he's gonna have to go over and dispose, these, dispose of these guys. You know what I mean? Especially when uh, Terrence Crawford decides that he's officially moving up to 154 and vacates them belts. All them belts are gonna be out on the loose and um, Boots is just gonna have to grab one belt at a time, man. Because he could actually get the undisputed shot if he was to go straight to Terrence Crawford. But considering that Terrence Crawford feel like he got bigger fish to fry, um, as he said, he said this directly. You know what I mean? Obviously, he's going to vacate them belts. He doesn't want to be at 147 no more. He's up to the he's up to the 154 division now. And he's pursuing that either that Earl Spence rematch or the Jamel Charlo fight or even the Tim Zoo fight. You know what I mean? So uh, Jerron Ennis is just going to have to put in the work. You know what I mean? Stay down, keep grinding, uh, make those sacrifices. Um, get these guys solid paydays that want to get in there with them and just dispose of them one by one, one by one. You know what I mean? That's just what he's going to have to do because they're not granting this man any kind of opportunities. So when somebody's not trying to hand you anything, you got to go out and just get it yourself. You got to be patient. Um, Jerron Ennis makes 147 easy, so it's not like he has like a limited time frame at the weight class. He definitely has plenty of time. So um, he's just going to have to stay in that weight class and just slowly but surely dominate the division until he gets all four belts. Because, And I think by the time he does that, Ter guys like Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence will be on their way out, you know what I'm saying, or uh, really be on a decline. These guys are a lot older. You know what I mean? Terrence Crawford is about to turn 36 next month. Earl Spence is in his uh, early 30s, 32, 33. But the fact that um, Earl Spence has taken a lot of damage outside of the ring, and especially in his last fight, um, the window's definitely closing. You know what I'm saying? Um, not saying that he'll be out anytime soon, but you know what I mean? He's not getting any younger is what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? So um, that's ex that's exactly what I would advise Jerron Ennis. He's just going to have to get it out the mud. He's going to have to uh, build this, uh, build his legacy brick by brick because um, these guys not going to uh, be the catalyst to the increase in his career. You know what I mean? So it is what it is, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this particular situation. Do you think Jerron Ennis should wait it out and, and, and hunt these guys down? Or should he just stay down at 147 and just create his own name and dusting off these guys that's um, in the rankings? Y'all let me know what y'all think. This is Mazuma TV. Shout out to the Mazuma Nation and the Mazuma Mob. Hit the like, subscribe. You know what I mean? Hit the bell notification. I'm out of here. Peace.